I've been helping YouTuber Selena Sanchez get ready for her final, so study along with us as we review molarity. Also, I'll be using some examples from my step-by-step -step molarity notes, so if you'd like to follow along, head over to melissamaribel.com or click the link in the description box. Now, let's figure out what molarity even is and how to use it. We, we covered four different conversion factors already, which is great. Now what we have to do is we have to cover um, other types of conversion factors that we're gonna see. So molarity is a conversion factor. It's going to be the moles of our solute divided by the liters of our solution. Look familiar? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and what everything is, um, let's make another beverage apparently, let's make sweet, and sweet tea. Uh, and all this is saying is that our solvent is whatever is dissolve, whatever is doing the dissolving, some sort of liquid that is doing the dissolving. While our, our solute is, let's say sugar, it's some sort of solid, that's what's being dissolved. And then lastly, our entire solution, which is what we're gonna see with so these types of questions, uh, is going to be the solute plus our solvent, just in case there's a multiple choice question on that or just in case we need that. So for now, I just want you to know, okay, molarity, what are our units for that? Moles over liters. Okay, so we'll do this one together. Um, where this, this question asks us to calculate the mass of KCL required to prepare 400 mils of that molarity of our solution. So I'm just gonna start off with what we're given, okay? So just the numbers that we're given, well, we're given our volume, we're also given our molarity. We're asked to find grams of KCL. Where I want us to start and what, what I want us to know is that molarity, remember, is moles over liters. So how we're gonna approach this question is I'm gonna start off with the given value that doesn't have two, con two units or isn't a conversion factor, meaning our conversion factor is molarity because it allows us to go from one unit to another. While this first given, or this first volume, that's where we're gonna start off with. So typically, you're gonna start off with the given value that only has one unit. Like this technically has two, right? This has, this is broken down to molarity, I'm sorry, moles over liters. So I'm gonna start off with milliliters of KCL, and then I'm gonna work my way to liters of KCL, and then from there, I'm gonna use this molarity that's given to then convert to moles of KCL, and then lastly, I'll find a way to get to grams of KCL. So, where I'm gonna start again is just the 400 mils. First thing I wanna do is just convert this to liters. The reason why I'm converting this to liters is because molarity is measured in liters and not in milliliters. So then from here, I'm just going to, I can divide this by 1,000 to get to one liter of KCL. Next thing after those cancel is now I can use this molarity as a conversion factor. So I want the liters on the bottom so they can cancel. And how we're going to separate this is 0 0.500. I'm gonna separate this to moles over one liter. And this is how it's always going to look. So whatever number we have in front of that M, that number is gonna go with the moles and it's gonna be divided by one liter. All right, so that's always gonna be the case. And then now I'm just gonna place one liter on the bottom 0.500 moles on top of KCL. And now, now I'm at moles of KCL. Last thing I have to do, we're not changing, we're not changing the solution, we're not changing the compound. So I can just, I don't have to do a mole to mole ratio. I can just get to my grams and we know liters, liters cancel. I now can go to uh, the molar mass of KCL, whatever that is, I don't know that off the top of my head. Uh, and then this would be one mole of KCL. I'm not a, ro a robot, promise. All right, so in this case, this is what our setup would look like. All right, so it's it's really just the same sort of format of stoichiometry. It's just using, it's introducing a new conversion factor with molarity. This one requires a balanced equation. Uh, I tell you this because, and how I know this, there's two different compounds, right? There's two different things. So I know that most likely we're probably gonna have to do a multiple ratio because I'm going from liters of H2SO4 to milliliters of NaOH or vice versa, whatever. 
So we're going from, from either or, okay? So what I wanna do first, because there's a keyword here that says neutralize, this is telling me already what type of reaction it is. This is an acid-base neutralization reaction where all that means is we have an acid. We know our acid starts with H, right? Because acids start with H. We're gonna add that to a base. We know bases end with OH. And this is gonna produce salt and water. And that is always the case for an acid-base neutralization reaction. So I know, okay, I'm gonna go, this is pretty much what I'm gonna have. So that was my clue to write this balanced equation. You won't always be given a balanced equation. You will have to figure it out and, you know, create it. The best way to learn is to practice. So pause the video and try this question out. I'm gonna start off with milliliters of NaOH. Then I will convert to liters of NaOH because we want liters here to cancel. And then from there, I'm gonna to get to moles of NaOH using the molarity that was provided. After I get to moles of NaOH, I'm gonna do a mole to mole ratio because I'm finding uh, liters of H2SO4. I find my mole to mole ratio from this balance equation that I made. And then from there, I'm gonna to have to get to liters of H2SO4 by using the molarity that was given. Do we kind of see where all these, it's like, I know it's, it's a puzzle piece, right? But molarity is another thing to kind of pull from your hat of tricks or whatever. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be the connecting factors to help you get to something else. All right, so it's like adding on to the four different conversion factors that I mentioned. That was just basic stoichiometry. Now this is incorporating a kind of a different level, just going with molarity. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going with this. I want you to try it. I'll leave this up. So I'll, I'll leave, you know, what you're gonna go to next, the plan, but I want you to start setting this up. So go ahead and set, set this problem up. What'd you start with? Um, 0 0.03 liters of NaOH. Okay, uh, you converted that to liters, perfect. Now that we're at liters, what did you do next? Nothing. <laughs> so we're here, right? So now we're gonna convert this to moles, but instead of a multiple ratio, because we can't do that going from liters to moles, Going from liters to moles, or vice versa, moles to liters, we use the molarity of whatever's provided. So in this case, I know the molarity that I'm given is that one molar solution, right? So then I know one mole of NaOH goes on top for every one liter of NaOH because that's what I want to cancel. Does that make sense? Yeah. What would go next? I don't know. We're at moles, right? So we're at moles of NaOH. We want to get to moles of something different. Actually, we want to get to a completely different compound. So to do that, mole to mole ratio. Yeah. Okay, so we have our balanced equation. So how many moles of NaOH do we have? Two. Yep. What's on top? Um, one. One mole of H2SO4. And then the last step, which I ran out of room, um, these moles and moles would cancel now that we have the moles of H2SO4, now I can get to liters of H2SO4 using the molarity that was provided. So now I'm gonna use the molarity that's given. So, and here, let me, I'm gonna, hold on. I'm gonna move this to the, the pretty version. There we go. So here, I'm at this step, right? We, we figured out that we converted to liters, canceled out the liters, changed it to moles. Now I'm here at this last step where I have one mole of H2SO4 and I want to put the moles of H2SO4 on the bottom. And then remember, I'm taking this just from the conversion factor that was initially given, which was the, the two molar solution of H2SO4. So we have two moles on top for every one liter. I'm allowed to flip this around. This is going to be based off of um, wherever, like wherever my other, my other units are. I'm just trying to cancel those out. If you would like another question just like this one, then click here. And if you're ready to move on to gas stoichiometry, then click on this video.